Ladies and gentlemen, how can I help you? Dirty cop reporting over here. I do dirty stuff, not that kind of stuff that you are thinking right now, pervs. Day four. Let's see what it is called because normally it's related to what happens. Chocolate ice cream. Rise and shine. What are you look laughing at, McNabb? Let's see how you did, Kelly. You met the ticket quota. Good job. You didn't intervene correctly. That was adequate. That's all. I expect more. Better take out your notepads. I'm about to speak. You need to write up five tickets for parking, then tow the cars, teach them how to park properly. Sure thing, boss. One more thing. The mafia is extorting protection money from the local restaurants. If you want to have places to eat, take care of this. Enough talk. Get to work. I wish they would keep the notepad over there so that I could read the resume of what I need to do in the next day. So, checking the tires over there, you can see that the worst state is C and F. Those are the ones that allow me to find the cars for the tires, and apparently I was doing it right. Please, officer, stop writing. Sorry, I have a quota to meet. Please, I'm broke. Let it go. Complete the ticket. I don't care. I have five of them to do. The thing is, I cannot call the towing over here on this one. So let's check another one. Let's keep running. We have all the stamina all back up, even though we didn't eat today. But when you start a new day at 8 a.m., you probably ate at home. I'm looking at the timers over here. The parking lot thingies. Officer! Yes, how can I help? My granddaughter, Daisy, she's dis- This one? How old is your granddaughter? 20! How long has she been missing? Since yesterday. I was here when she was here. She found out she was pregnant and ran out of the house. She'll probably come back. It hasn't been 48 hours yet. It's too early to report it. What do you mean? You won't do anything? She could be in danger. Where's the father? It's Deputy Charp. Unbelievable. She was dating him and I warned her. Please help me. She might do something stupid. Alright, I'll keep an eye out for her. Thank you. Goodbye. Alright, this is the one that we have helped or talked to yesterday. Alright, parking violation on this one. And let's call the towing. Let's not lose this one. Boom. Done. Alright. Three, uh, one out of three done. And two tickets out of five. Let's keep doing that. Good morning, Mr. Adamski. What's the trouble? Nothing major, some pretty theft. What did he steal? Gummy bears. Aren't you a little old for gummy bears? Or are you a little girl? No, screw you. You're making my life difficult, and Mr. Adamski's. I'll teach you a lesson. Do you have any storage space here? Let me think. I have a freezer in the back. Hey, what you planning to do? I don't have time to F around with paperwork. You'll do your time in the freezer. What? You gotta be kidding. Choose an option. Lock him in the freezer. Help! Somebody help! I'll come back later to let him out, Mr. Adamski. Is there anything inside he could hurt himself with? No, it's empty. Just very cold. He can't stay in there too long. So let's try not to forget about this scumbag. Alright, I'll be back for him before 4 p.m. Let's not forget about this. Or the poor lad will die. Cold, freeze cold. Alright, here's one we can take it. And most likely, tell. So let's do that. Boom. Oh, come on! No, I need to meet the quota. I'm sorry. I'll give you 20 bucks. That is not much at all. Get out of here. $50, I'll accept. $20, get out of here. Alright, so I need to find a new one. Because I was not able to tell this one. Here's a new one. Ticket expired over here. So let's do this. He just came out of the, the subway. How come he needed to have the car? Alright, we are done. We're the ticket quota. Kelly, Tuzak. No? What? Nidigi Jami na Wurzan Kenale. Jackie's face it or Sibiga. Quarters Pita can not cut up a scat sia. Jackie facet? Smee sia. Suzak si chikopro prostu. Mama sick back. Nia chibit ni. Porra prostu da mi moe. Zosta wit namiari. Nie. No nick. Diziki. Sex zeki. What the frag was that? Was that the mafia? I need to stop them somehow. It's a good time probably to go and eat something. 
even before, you know, lunchtime, which usually is at 1 p.m. where I live. Uh, let me get over here. I've never been over here. Good morning. How's business? This is a bad time, officer. Yeah. Quiet. I know what's going on here. I do. You should leave now, officer. And we'll talk in private. Back off. Threaten. I won't tolerate this. Not on my shift. You'll return the money and pol politely leave. We'll remember this. Nice. Did I stop him from doing his thing? I should have probably just, you know, keep on with my life because I'm a dirty cop. But there are a lot of situations where you can be a dirty cop doing one thing or the other. I mean, I can be a dirty cop by just punching the bad people in the nuts. That would make me a neutral dirty cop. But I can also be an evil dirty cop, which is the one that always searches for money. We've learned of a gang smuggling drugs. A gray van, Bird Economics. I think you should search it. They park it in front of the paw shop. Okay. Where is this? I do prefer them to tell the number. So that I know where to go. Paw shop? I have no idea where is that. But it's a white van. So paw shop... I don't even know what they sell in such a shop. Car parts? Maybe it is called paw shop? Cranks drugstore. It's not over here. But uh, let's keep our eyes up for a white van. That should also tell us a little bit about it. I don't think it's over to this side. We should have gone. Here we go. It's this one. Paw shop. Here we are. This is not the... Oh, it was a gray van, right? Search car. Not a white one. I had my... Oh, is that it? Hold up. What's this? Ooh. Moves left. Okay. Can I search the tire? Is the time, pass time passing by? I hope not. It's not. Cool. All right. So, no, it is. God damn it. Hold up. What is this? Bulb? What am I trying to do? What the sh What? Hold up. Let me move. Mmm. I need to know what's under the tire, I believe. Let's move all of this over here. Let's move this. And I can only move it, apparently, to the sides. Yeah. That seems to be it. So I'll move this over here. God damn it. How can I? Oh! <laughs> What's that? Bingo! Cocaine. I can now either call it in or give the drugs to the mafia. Go to the mafia. I'm going to give this to Louie. That'll be better for me. You're halfway done. Remember your quotas. Hey, I'm done with my quotas, right? I am done with my quotas. Yeah. Now, we should probably go to Damski and get the guy off the freezer. Or should we just forget about it? You know, amnesia is something that happens to policemen very often, you know? They mentally break because of all the harshness of their job. So, eventually, you tend to forget those things after being so concerned about the population security. Your information checked out. I found this package inside. Thank you, Mr. Cowley. Here's a token of our gratitude. $50 and Mafia Plus 2. <laughs> Look at that car. Is that a bug or what? Let's see. These guys are suspicious, man. Now, should we take the guy out of the freezer or not? That's what I'm thinking about. Search the gang's van. What gang's van? This one? Oh, hold up. This one over here. We have a report. 621. That's not too far, but hold up. Let me check this van first. So, I cannot search it. I cannot search. We're talking about that gang over there, no? I am not entirely sure. Let's check 621. I love the noises coming from the porn shop. They are very peculiar. I never eat. I'm gonna get so skinny. Fat Mike is gonna dislike this. He really is in heaven. I got a report. What happened? I was beaten up. Where's the perpetrator? What did he look like? He's lying right... Lying? Right here? <laughs> what happened to him? He looks terrible. I had to deal with him myself. And you call the police about him? But he's not breeding. We'll go to the precinct. And we'll send an ambulance for him. Why? I was protecting my property. You can explain it at the precinct. I can pay. I have 
Are you kidding me? $13? Arrest him. Too bad it's not $15. That'll be enough for dinner. Let's go. You're under arrest. Dispatch, I need a squad car to come pick up a perp. Shh. Over. $13 is nothing. You locked someone inside the freezer? Yeah, so? Adamski let him go. You didn't even write him up. I lost stamina because of that. Hold up. Adamski let him go? Come on. That was my little evil plan. Not little, but let's get in here and let's eat something. I have not ate like for two days now. Let's do that. Come on. I need to treat myself. Oh, is that the grease ball again? It's him again. Should have I just entered every single store I found? You should leave now, officer. And we'll talk in private. This time around, let's back off and see what happens. Right, I'll be back later. Can I? Can, should I? Can I go in again? There we go. Welcome back. Would you like some dinner? 30 bucks. Good stuff. We've got a special today. Let's accept it. I have enough money to pay for my alimony. So I'm fine to spend $30 over here. Not to mention that, come on, I do need that extra fatness. I need to compare myself to Fat Mike. I need to honor him in heaven. All right, hold up. 35? Wasn't it 30? I didn't get to the church any of these times. Let's check it out. Never been to the church before. God bless you, officer. Uh, good morning. It's not good morning. How can a man of the cloth, of the cloth, help an officer? I just came to think some things over. In that case, I won't disturb you. I didn't do much. I don't need to confess anything, do I? I am a fair cop. All right, let's go over here to one of these stores. Let's, uh, you know, just spend the rest of the day doing random stuff. Good morning, officer. I have the best and latest equipment, but I can find some good old stuff as well. You want an 8-track boombox Walkman? Shit, I've even got a gram phone here. <laughs> I have CDs too, of course. Betamax, VHS, and TVs large and small. The large ones need to be ordered. Uh, thanks for the rundown. I'm just browsing for now. Let's get out. There's nothing much happening over here. These guys look suspicious. These guys look Chinese. No, they are the grease balls. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up a second over there. I cannot get in front of the car. I was totally gonna do that. Alright, so... Hold up. Ho ho hold up just a second. So, that dialogue over there in Polish, I believe, that was Polish, was not supposed to be there? Because I totally thought that was part of the game and that was some foreign language that I had to translate somehow in the game. No, that was something that was not translated into the game because the game is still in an early access state. Let's forget about that. Let's pretend that was actually a foreign language and there are some Polish gangs in the game. I did not intervene regarding the thief at Adamski's. I did! I just didn't finish the whole thing because... Well, the guy let him go out of the freezer. That was... No, that was my idea of arresting someone. I don't put people in jail. I don't put people in a cell. I put them in a freezer. Ladies and gentlemen... Hold up, I didn't... I failed to complete one or more duties. Who the hell understands this game anymore? It's Polish. What do I know? Thank you so much for watching. My name has been D Sparrows Jenny, the dead, the dirty cop. There is. This is still day four. We were gonna go for day five on the next episode. Let me remind you, there is a lot more still to happen because they have said in the beginning this is gonna be a 21 days ride. So I can't wait for that. Have a good day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.